Welcome to the post-game show. It's presented by the Maroon Club, enhancing 23 Division I sports. Join the Maroon Club today. And our player of the game presented by Coca-Cola. Experience the Coke side of life. John is with the head coach in Palace Jolis. Thanks, Gary. You know, some interviews are more difficult than others, but the always classy Fran O'Hanlon uh, is ready to explode. I don't blame him. Uh, but, Coach, I don't think that there has been a game recently that has illustrated just how close this team is without being rewarded for it. Yeah, I'm very proud of them. I mean, they just compete and compete. And, uh, you know, our young guys don't show any fear. And uh, we competed with them. And even when they got down, there, there's no give up. There's no quit in them. And I know there's a lot of cliches there, but uh, they, they really do. Every game, we're in the game. And, you know, and unfortunately, uh, we... We didn't come up a little short. The Navy has two things, Coach, that, that it's very difficult to coach to. Uh, that is uh, experience. Uh, where you're young, they're experienced in the backcourt. And uh, obviously, every time you play an Army or a Navy or a, a service academy team, you're going to see that physical play. Uh, they played your style in the first 10 or 15 minutes, and then the Navy made it ugly. and. Uh, that's what they're good at. Uh, yeah, they're they're very good at that. And that, you got to give them credit. They uh, they play to how the game's being officiated, and they, and they and that's that's a smart team, you know. Uh, so uh, unfortunately, we came up short. Uh, I'm proud of our guys. We're very close. We just got to keep plugging away and uh, and keep working at it. I know you will, coach. And the better players. Uh, I mean, the, the, I love this freshman class. I'll make one more point. You know, Navy prides itself on tough, aggressive man-to-man -man defense. And in that first half, when you guys were executing so well, very few offensive teams that can force a team like Navy into a 2-3 zone, which they don't like to play. You guys were executing about as well as I've seen you all year long in that first half. No, I thought we did a great job of executing. And we, um, as I said, we're getting better. You know, it'd be nice if it was reflected in some wins, uh, but there's no doubt that we're getting better. And um, we'll, uh, we'll come back and try to go down to American and, and do well down there. There's another game on Saturday, Coach. Go get them. Thank you. Hang in there, Coach O'Hanlon. Paulus Solis, uh, Paulus, congratulations on a, a terrific game. And, and Paulus, I'll be honest with you. I, you know, uh, the outside shot was struggling for you. Uh, it's been inconsistent. But lately, you seem to have found a certain comfort zone back to the basket, down low. And I love the way you and Matt have been a tandem in the post. Talk about your approach to the game. And has that been a conscious decision on your part? Um, yeah, it's been a conscious decision just working on my post. But early in the year, coach kind of experimented with me, trying me on the wing, trying me down low. And it didn't really work. I didn't feel comfortable. So he put me back there, and, you know, me and Matt worked well together. So when conference starts playing, we got to, you know, focus and lock in and do stuff like that. But you got to come up with a win, you know. Well, absolutely. But, uh, you know, having said that, down the stretch, uh, you got on a roll, and it was just your posture, your body language. When you got the ball in the post, I had the sense that you felt like you wanted the ball, you called for it. If they collapse on you, you kick it out. Matt can now make the three. Uh, do you expect that that'll be uh, something that other teams will have to prepare for? I mean, yeah, it, it depends on the flow of the game, you know what I mean? Teams will adjust, we'll adjust. If one game, like today, I'll be hot in the post, you know, we'll do that. If not, you know, it might be Matt, it might be one of our freshmen, Alex Jaws, it might be Eric. So it's just a game-to-game -game type thing, you know, you can't really. One more question, uh, Paul. So there's a lot of youth on this team who are playing key roles. You're one of the veterans now. After a difficult loss like this, the record is what it is. This team's better, I think, than the record shows. What do you say to the young guys in that locker room as a team leader? No, just keep your head, head up. Keep working hard, you know, we got to have a good practice and then we got to come down to American and, and have them have a good game because they're in the bottom of the league. We got to we got to get that win away. You know, what I mean, got to steal that, that win at, at their place. Good luck, Paulus. Good, good luck on Saturday. Uh, Gary, John, first of all, John, thanks a lot. Have a safe trip home. It's always a lot of fun working with you. Uh, a frustrating loss for the Leopards. They played hard. Uh, hopefully down the road, there'll be some wins to show for it. Tip of the cap to Eddie Chichelis. Congratulations on number 300. We wish it would have been Saturday. It was not. Safe trip home, John Feinstein. Thank you, John. And it's always a, th a, a real pleasure to work with you, all kidding aside. All right, we'll put John to work one more time as he'll take us through the highlights of tonight's basketball game, and then I'll give you the final numbers. Well, really a well-played game, Gary, especially on the offensive end by both teams. And there you see Klanuski starting out, and nice drive there, there to the bucket. And he didn't have one of his bigger nights, but he was effective when, when he was in the game. Fran went offense, defense with him a lot in the second half because he didn't want him to get into foul trouble. That three made it a one possession game. There's a pretty pass uh, inside and as 
as uh, John just discussed with uh, Paul Paulus, he was just tremendous uh, inside. He only took one three tonight, Gary. Everything was inside. He was 11 for 10 for 13 inside the three-point line. And the Leopards didn't shoot a lot of threes, but they made some big ones, especially the one down the stretch uh, by Petrie that tied the game and gave everybody hope that this game was going to go into overtime before the game-winning basket. And there you see Navy passing the ball very effectively into the post. The key stat in this second half, they only had three offensive rebounds in the first half. They had eight in the second half, scored off those offensive rebounds, not only from the field, but also from the foul line. And there's the winning shot by Wick. Nice high ball screen and a really nice pass by that great offensive player, Abdullah. Well done. Well done, I got Mr. Through Feinstein. It was you a did pleasure. Indeed. It was a As pleasure. Always, As always, thank you for having me. I'm glad there's some place where I'm welcome. <laughs> So I will wrap it up. The 75 Navy points on 27 field goals. They shot 53%. 5 for 14 from three-point land and 16 for 26 from the foul line. They had five players in double figures tonight. Doolin with 20 and, of course, the last big one that he dropped to win the ball game. 12 for Wick, 12 for Abdullah, 11 for Lacey, and 13 for Sean Anderson. Navy goes to 4-3 and three in the Patriot League. For Lafayette, their 72 points came on 29 field goals, 6 for 13 from beyond the arc, 8 for 13 from the free throw line. They had three players in double figures tonight. Palace Jalice with a career-high 25 points. Matt Klonuski with his 21st consecutive double-figure game with 14. And Alex Petrie with 15 as he got the last five for Lafayette to send this game into that dramatic finish. As Lafayette goes to 2-4 and four in the Patriot League and will travel to American on Saturday, they'll play at 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Final score here, 75-72. My thanks to John Feinstein. Always an enjoyable night with John. And to John Leon for moving over to the sideline. John and Mike Joseph will be back with me on Saturday afternoon. That's it from the Kirby Sports Center. For all of us, I'm Gary Laubach. Good night, everybody. <laughs>